Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the ultimate legends that we have coming out tomorrow and of course tomorrow morning I have a video opening up some packs but if you guys have not already seen my videos from today, tons of great videos and I already am maximum level, that video is already up going over the maximum level rewards and also like there was a pack glitch earlier, that video is out and also a video from this morning going over everything with series 5. So a ton of videos, make sure you guys check them all out. Now I do want to give a shout out to Almost Live for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the bid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below Nota gang but the first one that was revealed was Derek thomas so let as you guys see by stats i mean this card this looks nasty i mean this card looks absolutely insane now i did use the most feared Derek thomas and i can say he played great so i'm really really excited about this one 92 speed 94 excel he also has 92 strength 94 tackling 94 play rec as well as 95 block shed and 97 power move with 96 finesse move yeah, this card's going to be really, really incredible. Now, of course, uh, the big thing that everybody wants to know is, is he going to be better than Lawrence Taylor? Now, I will say I could compare him to a Dalius Thomas, which just came out last week, but I would almost say that LT just simply because of, like, if you take a look at the difference between LT and a Dalius, I would still probably rather have LT. And that's simply just because LT is one speed faster and two excel faster, but Adelius Thomas says like the block shit over Lawrence Taylor, but I would still rather go with the speed and excel that LT has. However, Derek Thomas here, 92 speed, 94 excel. LT, 92 speed, 95 excel. So yes, LT is a one acceleration faster, but the same speed. Now 91 strength, Derek Thomas, 92. Block shed 95, Lawrence Taylor only a 91 block shed. Now, if we take a look at the power move, finesse move combo on LT, he's got 95 and 92. And Derek Thomas, he's got 97 and 96. So I would say that Derek Thomas is definitely the best right outside linebacker in the game compared to Lawrence Taylor. Really, I mean, he's very, very comparable. He is really comparable, really, uh, to Adelius Thomas, but he also has the speed and acceleration over Adelius with very, very similar block shed, power move, finesse move. And just really quickly to show you that comparison, 91 speed, 93 excel. Yeah, one more speed, one more excel. 92 strength, 90 strength, block shed, 95, block shed, 95. But Derek Thomas, power move, 97, finesse move, 96. Adelius only has the power move. He doesn't have the finesse move combo, which I believe does affect him a little bit uh, with only having one of the pass rush moves. It is a little bit better if you have both of them, I believe, anyway. So, yeah. I definitely really like this Derek Thomas. Now, the thing is, though, do you want to get rid of Lawrence Taylor and then run Derek Thomas? And I'm going to assume if you're picking up Derek Thomas or outside linebacker, maybe you have the best pass rushing left outside linebacker in the game, which is currently TJ Watt. Or are you one of those people that are like, oh, Lawrence Taylor is just such a beast. I can't get rid of him. Are you going to do what I actually did earlier in the year, which is flip LT or flip Derek Thomas and have Derek Thomas and Lawrence Taylor as your outside linebacker pass rushers? You guys let me know. But Derek Thomas, absolute stud. However, TJ Watt has been really, really good for me. So I have some decisions to make. And the other set legend, which means, of course, you won't get an LTD because of the way that ULs work. We have two set legends and one LTD is Jim Thorpe. Now, this card looks crazy this card looks absolutely crazy 95 speed 97 excel 98 agility 95 carrying 79 catching with 94 change direction 96 trucking and also 97 break tackle now apparently jim thorpe was six foot one and slightly over 200 pounds so we're gonna have to see exactly how like his player model actually works out here so jim thorpe i think this card's gonna be absolutely nasty now of course as you guys know i personally feel like the best running back in the game right now uh if you're not looking you know if you don't have a theme team whatever which is another thing i'll talk about here with jim thorpe in a second uh is theme teams but if you're not looking for a theme team or whatever i feel like arian foster and i've used all the top running backs i personally feel like arian foster was the best running back that i've used foster this is the ltd version so the stats can't get any better you can't power this card up yet 
He's got 95 speed, 97 Excel. So Jim Thorpe powered up is one speed, one Excel faster. And then of course with Sprinter on any team, not even a theme team, is gonna have 98 speed and 99 acceleration. That's nuts. 98 agility, Arian Foster here, 97. So we're gonna have 99 powered up. 95 carrying, Arian Foster, only 90 carrying on him. Then we also have got the 79 catching. Arian Foster does have slightly better catch in 83. Uh, Foster has 92 truck and 99 break tackle though. Jim Thorpe, 96 truck, 97 break tackle, and then the 94 change of direction, which Foster has got 97. I think this card is going to be absolutely insane. I'm really, really excited to use this card, and I think you guys probably want to see some gameplay, so if you do, let me know, because I can definitely knock out some gameplay. Now, the question becomes, what theme teams is he going to be on? That's the real question here. So you guys can see he has Giants chemistry on the card. And don't quote me on this because we won't know until tomorrow. Uh, but based on the teams that he did play for, I think that he's going to get Cardinals and probably Browns chemistries as well. I, I think anyways, he's probably going to get team chems for Cardinals and also Browns. But we will see tomorrow. That's not confirmed at all. I have no way of confirming that until we see the power up tomorrow, what team chemistry can change to. But I think he's going to have Giants, Cardinals, and Browns. So we'll see. But this card looks absolutely filthy. I haven't used him yet. And players can play differently than their stats. That is a 100% sure thing. So going to do a gameplay tomorrow. And we'll see if he is the best running back in the game. Because those stats to me look like, yeah, they look like the best running back in the game to me. And as for the LTD Ultimate Legend tomorrow, guys, it is a 97 overall, and it is Antonio Cromartie. I give this Legends weekend, honestly, a big W. We got potentially the best pass rushing outside linebacker in the game. We got potentially the best running back in the game. And we now got one of the best cornerbacks in the game. This is a big W uh, Ultimate Legends weekend for sure. Cromarty though, 95 speed, 94 Excel, so powered up. And with Sprinter, you're looking at 98 speed with 97 Excel. He also already has 97 agility, 96 jumping, 94 play rec, 97 man, 94 zone. So 99 man, 99 zone very easily with lockdown. And he's got 97 press. We're talking about 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press. And it's Antonio Cromarty. Which Cromartie is six foot two and is 92 overall, guys. Had 59 block shit with a 61 hit power and also 65 tackling. So he's not going to be crazy against the run, but he's a six foot two corner with extremely good stats. Pair this man with Namdi Asamoa if you're like a man press type of uh, team. Namdi Asamoa, Antonio Cromartie, two super tall man press corners. That would be incredible so i give this a big big w and with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below let me know what you guys think about this week's ultimate legend drop 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 hopefully you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next time